home and I literally just like ran and threw this outfit on. This is that a uh, Hutch black leather top with the black pants and I just threw on a fur coat, red lips because I was at the spot and I couldn't do my makeup because my skin's peeling. So I just did some brow and a bold lip. Hopefully like cute enough. Um, we're going to go see the premiere of season two of Netflix's Emily in Paris. And I'm so excited because I like binge the whole thing immediately. And I'm just excited to get a sneak peek of it. It's a mini binge, yes. um, and uh, we can't wait for you to see them. Uh, we had so much fun doing this show together in Paris. It was like one of my my best friends for life here that you guys Aww. get to see on screen shine this season even more, which I'm so proud of her and proud of all of our cast and crew. We made it through without any shutdowns during COVID. <laughs> protocols Netflix put into place and we're just so grateful to them and we really really hope that you enjoy it and that you watch three episodes and just have to keep watching on December 22nd um, and yeah we love you guys thank you so much for coming <laughs> I just got home. I'm so tired after waking up at 5.45 a.m. for a hike. I can't actually believe that I made it out tonight, but I'm really glad I went. It ended up being so much fun. Um, it was so cool to see the characters from the show in real life. It was so cool to see the actors. And yeah, it was one of the cooler like TV events that I've ever gone to in that they really incorporated us into it. Like we all got to walk the red carpet. Everybody was in the same small space together. So like Lily Collins and Ashley Park, everybody were right there. Um, and I really liked the show. I think that they've done a great job of making it a little bit more edgy and real this season. So I highly recommend, um, if nothing else, the fashion, like the same costumer who did Sex and the City does this show. And so I feel like what I walked away with was like inspiration for dressing cute. I really, really wanted to wear something cute and I was so tired and I was in such a rush that I didn't even have time to do my makeup. All I could do is put on lipstick. I don't even have eye makeup on, you can obviously tell. And I think sometimes when I go to these things, I also have imposter syndrome, right? But it was a lot of fun people. A lot of people I hadn't met. I only knew like one or two girls there, which was kind of cool. And I ended up sitting next to a couple girls who were um, like plus size TikTokers and fun. And then I met these two guys. They're so cute. I don't know if you guys follow Alex and Pablo, but they're so funny. And we just ended up like holding up in the corner and like dominating the appetizer trays and just laughing the whole time. So it was fun to meet new friends. But I find when I go into situations like this, sometimes I have like imposter syndrome or I don't feel good enough. Like I felt like my outfit wasn't cool enough. And I think it's just good to remember that like we're all on an even playing field and it's when you get to connect people, like we have so much more in common than we don't. And so every time I go into something like this, I still have that feeling of like, I don't belong here. How did I get in here? Um, but it's still, I don't know. I think that anybody can have that degree of that, right? Whether you're walking into a work conference or whether you're going into a new job or whether you're meeting your in-laws for the first time, your future in-laws or whatever that might be. I think we all have that to some degree, but at the bottom of line is we all have so much more in common than we have not in common. And yeah, I think it's a good lesson every time I go to just honor myself and to just try to have fun and be grateful for where I am. And that's all you can do. Fit check because I was, 
in such a hurry that I didn't get to do it before I left the house. I ended up wearing this hutch top that I tried on for you all. And I actually like the large um, because I think it shows just like a little more midriff, which I think is just a little bit more fun. So I wore this older like dark green ASOS fur coat. And then I wore this, uh, the leather trousers. And I didn't have time to do my hair. I was in the spa up until the last minute. So I literally let it air dry on the way home. And that's not usually my style. So I literally just tucked it and it's like looking a little rough and it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I don't normally go out to like events with like literally no eye makeup on. Like I have no mascara on, my face is still flaking. The only thing I could bring myself to do is put lipstick on. So I looked somewhat like I tried a little, but I don't know. I think that's progress for me, right? To leave the house feeling not awesome necessarily about myself and still feel worthy anyway. So I think on this journey of like confidence that we're all on together, I think that we are making progress and I hope you guys are too because I know the holidays can be tough, but we've been talking about it and I think that we just have to practice hyper, hyper self-care, take care of ourselves and like I've been harping on you guys, ask yourself in each moment, how can I, like what does loving myself look like right now? And on that note, I'm gonna go to bed because we have a big day tomorrow. We have to shoot like, three campaigns. I have a little like conference call meeting in the morning for a project coming up for January. And then I have to get my whole house ready because Callie and Dan are going to come stay here when I'm out of town. And it is, well, we just have a lot of boxes to open and it just, we need, we need to judge it. And then I have to pack because I'm going out of town with Sparky for uh, the holidays before I go see my family and my little sister is going to have her baby. And yeah, I have a breakfast meeting and then I leave. So I've got so much to do in the next day. So let's get some rest and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching Vlogmas. Yeah.